Welcome to World Cinema Reviews. This is your host Frank the Bamp, and we're still counting down to my favorite Stephen King movie adaptation. We've been going, we've been counting them from ten. Uh, last time we talked about Thinner, um, not a well-known Stephen King adaptation, but one of my favorites. At number five, now we go to number four. A much more familiar and uh, I almost say obvious choice, but we're going to talk about Rob Reiner's Misery. And uh, before talking about the story and, and why Misery leaves us an impact um, of watching, and I just want to praise the film for being probably one of the best casting and best acted horror movie of all time um, because you got I mean first of all we got Academy Award winner Kathy Bates and she plays basically this psychotic fan psychotic killer fan that uh, she's basically obsessed with this writer that uh, through an accident and she happens to rescue him out of the snow out of the wreck and and puts him on a bed and says hey you know what unfortunately you know you broke your leg and you can't contact anyone from outside and um, you know I'm gonna nurse you back and oh and by the way I'm your number one fan I love your books you know he's a you know uh, and, and this and this writer is play, you know, the character's name is Paul Sheldon, but it's played amazingly by the, uh, you know, awesome, awesome, um, you know, Academy Award uh, nominee James Caan. And, um, you know, at, at first she's, you know, Kathy Bates just plays it cool, like, hey, you know what, I'm just... I'm just a kooky lady, but you know, I just love you and I'm going to take care of you and make sure she's okay. But little by little, uh, you know, she starts discovering that her personality is just a little bit wacko until she becomes completely unhinged and reveals to him that she has no intentions of calling anybody and she just wants to keep him, kidnap and do who knows what with him. And uh, like I said, the cast is perfect. Um, I don't know what else to say other than that, because we got Richard Farnworth, Academy Award winner, Richard Farnworth. Uh, you know, in the film, we have Academy Award uh, honoree received uh, by Lauren Bacall. So, I mean, we got heavy, 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 awesome, perfect casting. And, and you know, I think we all been, um, it, it was very brave, you know, I, I um, the other day I was listening to uh, Boogeyman Ben talk about a, uh, a story about one of his ex-girlfriends that went cookie in <laughs> more than cookie and she went crazy on him and stuff and I think we all had you know as, as a male you know we all had that uh, you know males viewing we probably had a, uh, an encounter where somebody's kind of off a little bit that first dating seemed like a good idea and then uh, you find out that this person is crazy obsessed and horrible and you just want to leave them right uh, or if you're a lady you find that obsessed horrible guy that's a control freak and wants to kill you uh, hopefully you know you know we, we I think we all kind of may have found somebody that has that potential but few of us have actually really got to you know, see a horrible person that could actually kill you. In um, you know, in the case of um, of 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 this Kathy Bates character, you know, uh, playing Nanny Wilkes, um, you know, she, you know, she really owned him and she really made me believe. She didn't make me be afraid for myself. It made me be afraid for James Gunn. Uh, that you could find that there's person that I this completely disconnected from reality and and just obsessed just wanna I mean we hear it all about celebrities that are stuck you know from 
by by crazy fans that you know that dig through their garbage and and go inside their homes and put on their clothes and and do who knows what and some you know we have heard of some fatal you know type of attractions and horrible things that happen and you know where obsessed fans can get to the point of uh, people die and, and uh, people get kidnapped and and horrible things so it, it, it's um, I think that this noble adaptation works because you you really feel that it is I mean you you see how far she's willing to go and now I don't even talk about the, the, the scenes where she tortures um, you know James Gunn pretty much and they're so they're not incredibly horribly graphic but they're enough to make you cringe and close your eyes you know the the, the leg breaking the, the feet breaking scene is just unbelievable painful to watch and it just feels so real it just everybody just gives a great performance and I mean I just can't praise this film enough I mean if you if you've been under a rock and I'm not talking about Castle Rock because we're talking about Stephen King I mean if you really never seen this film you're missing out this is a masterpiece uh, in writing casting uh, directing developing just awesome gorgeous really awesome scary freaky scary film and and then you know love the ending love um, you know everything every little step that you know this lady makes James Gunn go through and um, you know she won the Oscar and she well deserved it and um, you know and, and made uh, Kathy Bates into you know this great respectable actress that she is today so um, yeah if you've never seen it uh, you know you're missing out you gotta see misery and if you've seen misery you don't like it explain to me why because you you know I'm not saying you're wrong because everybody has the right to their opinion right but yeah that'll be it will be pretty odd I mean it's very hard to disagree with that this film leaves a lasting impact on you it's one of uh, it's been recognized by all kinds of awards and all kinds of uh, you know praises by everything I don't need to keep talking about it like I said, if you don't know misery, I mean, it's time for you to get it and add it to your collection. Well, uh, we're done with number four. Stay tuned because number three, uh, it's gonna another familiar choice. Just give you a hint, but a really scary one. Maybe one of the scariest films of all time. Can you guess which one is it is coming? I think you probably could if I give you one more clue, but I'm not going to. Sweet dreams and please avoid dating someone like Anna Will Annie Wills. <laughs> like uh, cause I don't think you can survive it. I don't think I can survive it. Take it easy, stay cool. See you next video.